I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will explore when and how to use combinations. As you know the most important thing to know about when to use combination is that order is not important. So in this case we know order is not important. So whenever the order is not important we use combination. Now I'll take up one example and then we will explore. So let us say we have to select a committee. Uh, so we have to select a committee from a group of five persons, right? So let's try to select a committee from a group of five persons. Now let's say the persons are let's say a b c d and e right so these are five individuals distinct persons and we need to select a committee from these persons now you could either select a or you may not select a you could select b or you may not select b you may select c may not select c similarly you could select d may not select d and as far as E is concerned, you may select or you may not select. So when you choose a committee from a group of five persons where there is no restriction, you could choose none of them. That is the case, none of them. You could choose all of them. You could choose one, two, three, four, or whatever combination. In that case, what we have here is that for every person in the group, we have two ways of choosing. You may choose or you may not choose. So that gives you, so 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, the result as 2 to the power of 5, 2 to the power of 5, right? So what we understand here is that if we have distinct number of cases, so these are distinct cases, right? and we select all or choose all, in that case, the result is, is 2 to the power of n, correct? So that is one case of which we understand in combination. Now let me modify this question a bit. Now we say, select a committee from, let me rewrite, right? Select a committee. from group of five with at least one person, right? So when we are selecting a committee, it makes sense that there should be at least one person, correct? In that case, this particular option that not selecting any one of them is not there. So we land up with 1 less than 2 to the power of n. So in this case, uh, the result will be 2 to the power of 5 minus 1. And general solution will be 2 to the power of n minus 1, right? So I hope this point is well taken care of, correct? Now, let's just uh, uh, work on the same question in a kind of different way. So what we will do this time is that we still have the same committee to be selected from group of five persons but we are not selecting all five of them right so this time what we will do is uh, we will select some of them not all right so as you've seen here we're kind of considering all right so we consider all now here we are consider limited number so we are considering r right that is what we're trying to say so let us say select committee of three persons from a group of five, right? So, so just three persons from a group of five, five distinct, correct? So in such cases, the solution is 
we know it's a case of combination the order in which you select these three persons doesn't matter once these three persons are selected the order it may be changed but they remain the same three persons right so here it's a case of combination and you are choosing from five three persons so that is the result right so that is your answer in this case and in general the answer will be ncr where you know ncr is n factorial divided by r factorial times n minus r factorial correct so i hope that part is very clear now we'll modify this question a bit and say uh, let us now select committee of uh, three persons from two men and three women and let's also put a condition with at least one man so now we have a case where all the individuals are not distinct now we are talking about two men and three women right so that is kind of a different case now here in such cases you have to consider individual cases right that is kind of important to understand so you need at least one man that means you could have a one man or you could have two men right so that uh, are the two cases since there are in all just two right two men so if you choose one man and three persons have to be taken then that means you are choosing two women right so from two men you choose one and from three women you choose two that makes it three persons then we could have two men right so from two select two men as far as women is concerned you have to select one from three so these are the individual cases so they kind of have to be treated as on the case basis so you can find the result and get the answer so that is how when you are using combinations you may have different ways of using but i hope this example illustrates how we could do all different cases of combination right now there is uh, one more when we say that some objects are identical as we took here but i'll change this question a bit to give you another example uh, let us say we have some dimes we have some let us say we have two dimes and let's say we have three nickels and let's say one quarter now if that is the case then what combination of money can you make from this so you need to find the combination of money now you could choose a dime you may not choose a dime you may choose a nickel you may choose two nickels you may choose three nickels or you may not choose a nickel do you understand so what we see here is that if you have two dimes then we have three options you may not choose any dime you may choose one dime or two dimes there are three options in this case when we say three nickels we have four options you may not choose any nickel you may choose one two or three that means four options one quarter means there are two options with you right so there are always one more option than the number of things which are identical correct now you have to choose at least one of them therefore at the end it is minus one so these options get multiplied and then you take away one to get the answer and for that we do have a general formula right so the formula is uh, let's say p options if we have p dimes right so p minus one if we have q nickels q minus one if you have r quarters r minus one minus one will give you all the combinations of the currency which you could select right so so these are all the ways in which you can solve questions related to combinations i hope you understand the concept most important thing here is first to figure out whether the order is important or not 
if the order of selection is not important, then you are choosing combination. Then you have to answer the question whether the items are distinct or not. Correct? So, if they are distinct, then these are the ways. And if they are not distinct, that means some are common, then we have different types of working as we have discussed in this video. So these are two critical questions to consider apart from choosing all or some. I hope that helps to understand the very basic concept. We'll take a few examples to practice. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.